Jim, let's begin with Trump's budget. Does it, does this mean tax reform is over? Well, you know, you submit a budget that's really a, uh, a not rigorous budget, and what happens is, is that it sets back the process even more. And when I say not rigorous, I mean that it has a lot of assumptions that are just kind of unrealistic. And now, if you're really a Pollyanna, and you come back, and or you say that Trump is a, a deal maker, and it wasn't the swamp on the other side. You could say, look, I want this. They come back with this, and then we work together. But that's not the way it works in Washington, and I think he wants to make it so it's the way it works in New York, and it's not. So what happens is you just say, wow, that's not a non that's a non-starter. So you're going to have to do, you know, something again. And it doesn't, it's not a starting point is what I'm saying. It's not a starting point. And the assumptions aren't right. So what happens is, is that if you thought that there could be tax reform, it, you set the calendar back. So I no longer think anything good's gonna happen in 2017. And I felt that way before this, which is why the stocks that are going up are the stocks that don't need the government's help.